Good morning, everybody. I'm being quite good today. I've woken up feeling so much better. Last night, you know that I really struggled keeping awake because of the time difference and everything like that, and the fact that I haven't had sleep, very good sleep for a long time. None of the other guys have a view of the uh, aquarium and the rest of the park and the sea, whereas I do. So Dubai must love me 10 times more than they do. I'm gonna catch up with the other guys in a minute and see what they wanna do. Um, but first of all, I'm being really good and organising all my clothes into the chest of drawers and out of my suitcase. Because usually when I go to hotel rooms, I'll just leave all my stuff in my suitcase and never get it out and iron it or anything. But do you know, I thought, do you know what, I'm here for a week. There's no point me living out of a suitcase for a week when I've got such a nice hotel room. I may as well, like, properly move in for the week. So, let's start the day. Ugh. Must be starting the day. Met with Jim, Tanya, Zoe's here, and now Alfie's here. And we're just having some breakfast. What happened? I got these things. What are these things called again? Apricots. I've got some apricots. Goodbye, scary Father Christmas. I didn't realise as well, in the background of my view, that is the world's tallest building over there. See it? The Burj. That's the only six star hotel in the world. That's what I'm going to do tonight. It's got a massive ramp next to it. See it? So you can get, a, you can do, a, apparently in Dubai, you can do a motorbike thing. And you pay like some money, you can do a motorbike jump over the hotel there. Mm. No way. Yeah, Zoe. Okay, <laughs> and there he is. There he is. I'm now off to the beach. I've got Zoe and Louise singing in my head. Get out, get out of my head. Get out, get out, get out of my head. So I'm just led on the beach with my fake wife of the day, Ruth. Hello, darling. <laughs> Me and Ruth are here on our own, so we've, we're sharing a bed today and we're... Um, we're, we're fake married. We're fake married for the day. Oh. We've got a mint cooler, which is very refreshing. It looks it looks rank, but it's really refreshing. What have you got, darling? I have a strawberry... Is it daiquiri? Is yeah, daiquiri. This and this oh, yeah. makes this do this. So this is one of the honeymoon suites, the Neptune suite. Get some pomfrey. free. Um, uh, wow. Yeah, that's it now, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, it's Joe, the Joe fish. <laughs> wow, they've got a tea towel. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so this is the room that they've now put me in. Um, there. This is the wall of the room. And you. So where we do the dives, so the ultimate dives. Wow. Yeah. So what happens if you're getting changed in your room? So you get, you get, but if you get to the close the curtains and someone's scuba diving past, they wouldn't has that ever happened? No. Oh. <laughs> Here's my bath. It's <laughs> Harold. What are you all doing in my room? Get out. Get out of my room. Look behind me. <laughs> oh, hey there. This is the nicest hotel room that I've ever stayed in. I'm here for the whole week. <laughs> Hey, how's it going? Oh, hi! I didn't think that much. Oh, it's getting my bum wet. 
kind of turn the bath on. Oh, I've got a wet bum now. <laughs> but it's worth it. This hotel room is $14,000 a night and you do get a nicer toilet roll. That's official. But I'm going to sit on the toilet. <laughs> you doing the boo? Yeah, I'll try it. You got the shorts on still? Oh no, I always get that wrong. <laughs> I always forget. So for $14,000 a night, this toilet should flush itself when I say, Toilet flush. Oh my god. That is awesome. Surely magic. Magic. Oh, what are you doing here, Jim? Nothing. That's like shells. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. There's twenty towels just here. So there's no excuse not to be dry in this hotel room. I've decided that I'm gonna hide behind these curtains so when everyone leaves, they'll forget that I'm here. Right, go, don't tell them that. Oh, I say know that, now. Say that I wasn't part of this group. I right? already know. I'm gonna so. hide behind this curtain like this. And then hopefully I can stay in this room. For the rest of the journey. See you then. Even though it's a honeymoon suite, and so if people stay in here, they might get a bit of a shock when they find me hid behind the curtains. <laughs> I wonder what's in here. I hope it's VHSs of all Disney films. Yeah. Oh. If the curtain thing doesn't work out and they find me underneath there, then I might hide behind all these pillows, and then they'd never find me, and I could live in here for the rest of my life. You get free pretend feet. Ah, oh, amazing. You get free pretend feet. I think someone has left their artificial foot here. I'd just like to say as well, the people at this hotel, the people that work at this hotel have been so nice. They, they bring me like, for some, I don't understand why, because all of us have the same thing. They bring us like 15 bottles of water a day, which I'm not complaining about obviously, because it's, obviously it's water. For them. Open, come on. Come on, don't let me down now, I'm trying to vlog. You open it all the time when I want to eat you, but when I want to show the viewers back home, you don't, oh, there we go. Every single one of these looks amazing, except for maybe you. You look like you look like you've passed your expiry date by a few years. Mmm. Oh, more of those. Where'd you get them from? It just goes to show: never judge a book by its cover, or a chocolate by its colour. Dude, it's dinner time. Scary Father Christmas is still here. Hey, man. How crazy the ceiling is. Whenever I speak, it echoes around the whole room as well. I've realised. Hello. Show me like one of your French girls, Jack. Is that a line from Titanic? I'm pretty sure it is. Can't really see the fish. Healthy. <laughs> that is a big old fish. Hello. Look at the sun. Yeah. I'm like, that's actually crazy. Guys, check how big and ugly this fish is. His name is definitely Dave. That's definitely a Gary. Got him. Got him. Where's his spider thing? Got him. So I'm holding. So I'm now holding one of the oldest crabs in the world. It's not the oldest crab in the world, is it? It. Oh, you got your hand there. There you are, mate. Go on, go on, go on, me old boy. Mesmerizing. That's the end of the day. Oh, what? It's two in the morning. Time flies when you're in Dubai. Thanks for watching, everyone. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Uh, I'm going to sleep, so I'll speak to you tomorrow. Bye. Let's take a view, guys. Look at it smile. Look how excited they get. <laughs> so excited. We've worked out, but if you do this, you feel like you're in there. <laughs> Wait. Look at that one, it's talking. Jingy dee jing. Oh, I missed the hay. Right, start again. Missed the hay. Hey, jingy dee jing. Ee oh, ee oh. It's Dominic the donkey. Jingy dee jing. Ee oh, ee oh. The Italian Christmas donkey. La 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 la. <laughs> the funny thing is, I'm singing this at 1 a.m. in my hotel room, and I'm pretty sure the walls are paper thin. <laughs> and I think the couple next door can hear everything I'm singing. Oopsie! <laughs> Merry Christmas!